Hey everyone, for today's Vlogtober video, I thought we would do a Walmart haul. I like to pop into Walmart seasonally to get a few staples for myself and my boys as my boys continue to grow and change their clothing size and as I continue to grow and change my clothing size, but not for the same reason as my children. That's a different a vlog on a different day. Yeah, okay. I'm all right. Are you all right? I'm all right. Uh, I want to show you what I picked up. Walmart always has great staple pieces that you can mix and match with other things that you have on hand or that you pick up for a really good price. At the very end of today's video, I do want to tag on a few things that I recently picked up at Walmart. No, Target. My Target is starting to put out their Christmas items in the Bullseye Playground, and I just found a couple things, so I thought I might as well just add them on to the end of this haul. Let's start with my items, shall we? All right, over in the women's department, they had a lot of really cute flannels in all sorts of fun plaid colors. Um, I thought this one's really pretty and I don't actually own one in this black and uh, like a olive green check. They are very long, which is exciting for me because I am tall, I'm 5'9", so I love the length on this and I did size up and I tried it on over what I had on in the store and it seemed like it fit pretty good. So this one was $13.98. Now keep that price in mind because I'm about to tell you something that's a little bit unfair. Over in the men's department, they too have a really great selection of flannels and great colors and uh, plaid prints. But here's where it's a little bit unfair. Theirs are cheaper, theirs are cheaper. Now the women's flannel, it is thinner and it's not as soft. The men's, it's a little tiny bit thicker and it is so soft. And it was like $8 and some change versus almost $14. Why, why? I don't get it, it's not fair. So when I was over there, I saw that they had so many cute options. So I just picked up one for myself because it's basically the same thing. It's just marketed for men versus women. I thought the colors in this print were so pretty. I say print, but that's called plaid. The, the colors in this plaid are really pretty. The navy with the cream and kind of this like coppery brown. Something else I picked up over there, um, and the reason I can't tell you the exact price of this is because I've already worn it several times, so I don't have the tag, but I know it's like $8 and some change, maybe close to $9. But over in that department, the men's department, they also had basic long sleeve tees, and they were super cheap, around $7. I picked up one for myself as well, again from the men's department, who cares, right? And it was this exact color, this kind of coppery brown color. So what I did was I wore the long sleeve top and I got a large, so it was kind of, um, over like you know oversized where I could roll the sleeves up and it kind of covered my bum and I wore it with leggings and then I just put this over it and wore it with some boots and it was really cute and if I got hot I just tied this around my waist so I almost wore this like a jacket but it's not a jacket okay also being a bit rogue and buying things in other departments I was over in the pajama department and I saw this beauty it's a sweatshirt and they're selling it in the pajama department but I don't think it looks like pajamas I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure it could be. I mean, it's supposed to be pajamas. I loved the wrist on it and the bottom of the sweatshirt has this really cool, like, what is this called? Unfinished or, I don't, I don't remember, natural hem? I don't know what it is, but it looks like that. It's really cute. And it's very soft inside. It's kind of like a teddy bear. I don't know, y'all, words, words. But they had it with some pajama pants and I thought, no, I would just wear this out. It's really cute. So I picked this up and I went for a bigger size so that it was kind of slouchy looking. I got an extra large. I'm trying to find the price tag. It was $13.73. So for a sweatshirt, that's a pretty good price. It's the Secret Treasures brand, if you want to look at it look it up all right is that all my stuff i think that's it let's move on to my boys items we'll go through theirs pretty quick because it's just pretty basic stuff but everything is just priced so good i had to share it with you all right they had tons of tea options i like to pick these up to wear underneath like denim shirts or flannels for layering which is perfect for us here in the mountains so this one so cheap i know it's cheap because i remember 398 okay i have seen thrift shirts that are more expensive than this actually today i was thrifting there was a gap flannel i really wanted to get my older son and they were asking six dollars six dollars for a used kids flannel shirt uh -uh. 
Uh -uh. Anyway, so go there, get some layering pieces for your kids. They have many, many colors. I also got it in this olive green for my oldest. And my little guy needs no clothing because he gets all of his brother's clothing, but this color looks so good on him. So I picked up, it looks kind of weird in the camera, but it's like a golden mustard color. Look at how pretty these colors are together. I mean, seriously, beautiful. All right, shirts. Let's continue with shirts. I got this one for my oldest. We love adventure themed clothing in our house. And this one says, adventuring is waiting get out there and has mountains i love the peace sign and there's a little tent underneath the sticker and an eagle or bird of some sort so this one was 5.98 my little guy also got one by the same brand it's camo the sleeves are very similar where it looks like you're wearing dual shirts and then it has really cute like camping patches all over it and he's already worn it it's getting washed so that one was also 5.98 as well and then we stocked up on these basic long sleeve tees. So cute. They have kind of like a heathered look to the material. $7.88. Here's another one. And they had this one in many options as well. They had a light blue and I believe they had a really pretty olive green. And I also got my boys sweatshirts which they've worn two of them, so I can't share those with you, but I do have this one still. Again, with that heathered material. And this one was $5.96. $5.96 for a sweatshirt for a kid. Oh, they just have such great deals. I, if you have kids, are your children hard on their clothing? My boys are so hard on their clothing. I can usually get it to cycle through through my youngest, but after that, I mean, there's holes in the knees and they stretch the sleeves of their long sleeve shirts out. They pull on them and they get dirt all in them. They get stained. So I love buying their stuff at Walmart because it's cute and it's cheap. All right, let's go on to pants. I just got a couple of pants for my oldest. Some sweatpants. I thought these were kind of cute. These were $5.98 just for lounging around the house. And this is my favorite brand of jeans to buy my oldest. He's very tall and slim. I really like H&M's pants and Zara look good on him as well, but those are obviously a little bit more expensive. These are, I sounded like a like a pirate. These are, are? Why is there another price tag? How much were you? I think they're like $13. Let me see, I have multiples. There's probably a price tag on one of them. Oh my goodness, grinding. I don't see a price tag, but I'm pretty sure they're around 13 bucks. Really cute. They have so many cute denim colors. Um, they have khakis that I really like. He already owns those, but I just thought these were precious. And the other thing I really like about their pants, they have reinforced knees, which is great for a cheap pair of jeans for your kids, right? They're stretchy, so they're comfortable for them. And then they have this little doodad in the waistband. So I got those for him. And I love these black ones. I thought these were so cute. Well, they're not black. I guess they're more of like a charcoalish gray color. Love the detail. Again, they have this in the waistband and reinforced knees so awesome and oh hold on I almost forgot the target stuff that's it for Walmart and I will say I brought all this stuff home and I showed my husband and he was like say what I want some flannels oh you need to go back and get them a couple more shirts and I was like okay sure so I'm actually gonna go back here probably this weekend and get them a few more things they had so much I had to make myself stop even for myself lots of cute stuff so if you're needing just some basic things to kind of fluff out your wardrobe or your kids wardrobe for fall and winter definitely check out Walmart all right Target here's what I found isn't that cute it is Kind of like, is that crocheted or knitted? I don't know the proper term for it, but I love a good classic vintage Christmas decor. So I picked up two of these. They're felt on the back. They were $5 each. 
and they're very stiff but you know what pillows like this like you can't change it out you can't put a different insert in it so it just kind of is what it is but these are really cute just to sit up in a chair because they have a lot of structure and shape to them so they'll hold themselves upright without going right sliding down um, also I thought about putting these on my boys bunk beds I just don't know if I can trust them to not get them dirty. So I got two of those. We'll see where they end up. And then they also put these out. I shopped because they were they were stocking the shelves when I got those pillows. And before I left, I went back through again just to make sure, did you put anything else out? And they did. And that's when I saw this. <gasps> How cute is this? And this is something that can stay out all winter long. That's, oh, I love this. This was $5. And they had this same idea, but a red, I'm not sure what the cutout was. Maybe it was snowflakes. And they had kind of a brownish metal color. Uh, same idea. So they had three color options, at least at my Target. I should have gotten more. You know why I didn't? Because it's bulky and it's kind of hard to store stuff like this, so I didn't get more. But these are so easy to set out on a countertop, on a kitchen, or in a bathroom, on a nightstand, like in a guest room, and just add a little bit of festive fun. Put a battery operated tea light inside that comes on, you know, whenever you set it to, and you're done, and it's cute. All right. There we have it. So as soon as I stop this video, I'm getting out a bunch of thrift stuff I wanted to share with you. So be on the lookout uh, during, I keep wanting to call it Vlogmas. It is not Vlogmas, it is Vlogtober. And I will have a thrift haul coming out as well. If you didn't know, I am trying to vlog a bit more in, in Vlogtober. Thank you, what is a Vlogmas? So be sure to check out the channel. I have several videos before this one and I have other ones coming up soon. So I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody.